Hello students, I am Suvarna Shetty from FE Department PCCA. Today we are going to learn the polyphase AC circuits. Under the polyphase AC circuit, these are some topics that I have shown here. Okay, this is our first lecture. First top, uh, topic is introduction, advantages, generation of three phase AC voltage, phase sequence, relation of line, phase, voltage and current in star and delta connection. Introduction of polyphase AC circuit. What is mean by the polyphase? Poly means that is the two and more than two. It is called as the poly. And the phase means it may be the branch, circuit or winding. And the complete polyphase system consists of a two or more than two single phase system. In our syllabus, we are going to learn the three phase AC system. Three phase AC system is formed by using the three single phase systems. Under the single phase AC system that we know the two wires are there, phase and neutral. And for three phase system, if we con it consists from the three single phase, then in that case it consists the total six conductors. The three phase conductors and three neutral conductors. But neutral is a common part, so we can consider only one neutral conductor and another is a active conductor that is the phase. That is the phase. So this is the polyphase AC system. In that we are going to learn the three phase AC system. Advantages of three phase system over single phase system. As we know that the three phase system is formed by using the three single phase system. Now in a single phase system two conductors are there that is the phase and neutral. Phase is the incoming and neutral is the outgoing. So if we consider the three single phase the total conductors are six conductors. But instead of that in three phase system we can use the four conductors three as a phase conductor and one is a neutral conductor. So, to transmit the same amount of power, six conductors required in single phase system, whereas in three phase system, it requires only four conductors. Second advantage, single phase motors are not self-starting motors. But the three phase motors are a self-starting motors. We, we are not requiring the additional circuit to start the motor but we require the additional circuit to start the single phase motor. Third advantage, the efficiency and power factor of single phase motor are also poor. Are also poor. But we are getting the better efficiency and better power factor in three phase motor. Fourth Advantage polyphase motors that means the three phase motors produce the uniform torque. And last advantage that is the main advantage single phase voltage attain three times zero voltage and we never get zero voltage in three phase system. As we know the nature of the single phase waveform, it starts from the zero, it attains the maximum value at 90 degree and again zero value at 180 degree and then 360 degree. That means it attained the zero value three times. In that period, now the frequency means the number of cycles completed in one second and we are getting the three times zero voltage in one cycle. So according to that, the some fluctuation is there and it will affect on the performance so, but if we use the three phase uh, three phase supply then in that case we never get the zero voltage so the performance of the system is also improved in that case generation of three phase ac voltage the generation of three phase AC voltage is based upon the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. We know the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction whenever the conductor cut the flux EMF get induced in that conductor. Now that conductor is placed in a magnetic field as shown in a figure 1 N pole and S pole. Now there are the two types of magnet 
uh, EMF, statically induced EMF and dynamically induced EMF. The generation of three phase AC voltage. We are considering the dynamically induced EMF. Dynamically induced EMF. In a dynamically induced EMF, either magnet or coil is movable or there is a physical moment of any one. The generator, in a generator, pole is stationary and conductor is moving. That is the dynamically induced EMF we are considering. Now the gen for generation of three phase, we are considering the three conductors which are placed in a magnetic field having the phase difference 120 degree. Why we are taking the 120 phase difference? Because the complete one rotation is a 360 degree. We are considering the three conductors. So 360 degree divided by three conductors, we are getting the 120 phase difference. That is the symmetrical system. So the phase angle or phase difference between two phases is 120 degrees fixed. Second thing, magnitude, magnitude. Second thing that is the length of the conductor and material should be same or it is identical. Three conductors place in a magnetic field then it generate the three waveforms which are having phase difference 120 degree if you see the waveform diagram first waveform is a VR waveform we start with the zero that is our first waveform after that 120 phase difference second waveform start after that 120 phase difference third waveform start so according to that we can draw the phasor diagram that is vr vy and vb now r y b we are using we are naming given for these phases from the colors red color yellow color and blue color material is same only the color is different to identify the fault of particular phase we are considering these three colors for the three phases that is red color for the first phase yellow color for the second phase and blue color for the third phase it is universal always we have to follow this sequence r y B, it is the universal sequence from that phasor diagram we can write the equation vr is equal to vm sine of omega t vy is equal to vm sine of omega t minus 120 degree vb is equal to vm sine of omega t minus 240 degree now the question is there can we write vb is equal to vm sine of omega t plus 120 degree no it is wrong. We are considering VR on a reference axis. According to that, we are getting the waveform. So, with reference to the VR, VB lag to VR by 240 degree. VY lag to VR by 120 degree. V that sequence we have to follow. Pahle rotate hoga VR. उसके बाद 120 से रोटेट होगा VY, उसके बाद 120 से रोटेट होगा VB. That sequence that we have to follow in some terms related to the three phase system. First, balance system. Now, what is mean by the balance system? Balance system means each phase each phase has same in magnitude nature and all are displaced by equal angle that is 120 degree means if agar ek phase mein agar resistive node hai to baaki do phase mein bhi resistive load hona chahiye 
इफ द फर्स्ट फेज हैज द रजिस्टिव फाइव होम तो बाकी दो फेज में भी रजिस्टिव फाइव होम ही होना चाहिए एंड द फेज डिफरेंस इज वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री देन दैट सिस्टम वी कॉल्ड एज अ बैलेंस्ड सिस्टम अनबैलेंस सिस्टम मीन्स इसमें से अगर किसी एक फेज में अगर रजिस्टिव है सेकेंड में इंडक्टिव है थर्ड में भी इंडक्टिव है फिर भी वो अनबैलेंस सिस्टम है नाउ तीनों फेज में रजिस्टिव नोड है बट द मैग्नीट्यूड इज डिफरेंट देन अगेन इट इज अनबैलेंस सिस्टम नाउ द सेम इन मैग्नीट्यूड एंड सेम इन नेचर है बट द बट बट दे डोंट हैव द फेज डिफरेंस वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री अगेन इट इज अनबैलेंस सिस्टम थर्ड इज अ फेज सिक्वेंस फेज सिक्वेंस इज द ऑर्डर इन विच थ्री फेज अटेन देर पॉजिटिव मैक्सिमम वैल्यू एंड यूनिवर्सल फेज सिक्वेंस इज आर वाई बी इसका मतलब है वी हैव टू फॉलो द फेज सिक्वेंस दैट इज आर वाई बी आर वाई बी नेमिंग केम फ्रॉम द कलर रेड येल्लो एंड ब्लू मीन्स वी आर यूजिंग द रेड कलर फॉर द फर्स्ट फेज येल्लो कलर फॉर द सेकेंड फेज and blue color for the third phase that is r y b hame first phase ke liye yellow color use nahi karna hai second phase ke liye blue color use nahi karna hai we have to follow this sequence that is the universal sequence ye sequence hame kyu follow karna hai suppose kisi ek company ne control panel banaya hai now that control panel हमने परचेस किया अपने कॉलेज में गया ना सम फॉल्ट इज ऑकर देर ना इन दैट केस आर इलेक्ट्रिशियन शुड अटेंड दैट फॉल्ट करना चाहिए और वो कर सकते हैं और वो करते हैं बिकॉज ऑफ दैट सीक्वेंस क्योंकि ये सीक्वेंस हमें पता है कि फर्स्ट फेज रेड है सेकेंड येलो है और थर्ड ब्लू है और न्यूट्रल के लिए ब्लैक है दैट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ द फेज सिक्वेंस नाउ मूविंग टूवर्ड द नेक्स्ट डेफिनेशन लाइन वोल्टेज नाउ एज वी नो द वोल्टेज वोल्टेज इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू टर्मिनल्स लाइन वोल्टेज इज ऑल्सो द वोल्टेज डिफरेंस बिटवीन एनी टू फेजेस नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द थ्री फेज सिस्टम थ्री फेजेस आर देयर नाउ द वोल्टेज बिटवीन एनी टू फेजेस इज कॉल्ड एज द लाइन वोल्टेज एंड इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज वी एल इज इक्वल टू वी आर वाई v y b and v b r we are considering the symmetrical system so we can write this equation v l is equal to v r y v y b and v b r next definition is a phase voltage voltage difference across any single branch or single impedance is called as the phase voltage we know the phase voltage whenever question is there phase voltage we say that is the 230 voltage or 220 voltage that voltage between the phase and neutral that means across the single branch or single impedance that we are considering next definition is line current current flowing through any supply line is called as the line current in three phase system there are the three lines r y and b and current flowing through that line is called as the line current and we can represent the equation il is equal to ir iy and ib now it is equal to because it is a symmetrical system last definition phase current current flowing through any single branch is called phase current any single branch or single impedance is called as the phase current three phase system three phase system has two uh, are two types of star connected three phase system and delta connected three phase system now in both case we are using the three single winding or three single branch to form the three phase system <clears throat> now moving toward the star connector that is the diagram number 1 the three branches we are using to form the star connection 
one terminal of each branch connected together and another terminal is free for connection that is the basic concept of star connection if you see the diagram one terminal of these three branches connected together that point is called as a neutral point and it is denoted by n another three terminals denoted by r y and b and the voltages is also mentioned there now the v phase v phase voltage means the phase voltage and what is the definition of phase voltage the voltage across the single winding or single branch is called as the phase voltage so in a star system phase voltage is vrn or vr is a phase voltage similarly vyn or vy or vbn or vb is a phase voltage now neutral is a common point so we can say the phase voltage is vr vy and vb now the line voltage line voltage definition the voltage across any two phases that is the line voltage so the line voltage in star system vl is equal to vry vyb and vbr is a line voltage line current line current means the current flowing through the supply line is called as the line current now in a star connected system if we see the current direction is outward that means it is a three phase star connected generator system so it shows the out current away from the system if it is the load system the current moving toward the branch incoming current is there now the line current is ir iy and ib is a line current now the phase current in a star system current flowing through the single branch or single impedance is called as the phase current so current flowing through the r phase is a phase current that is ir current flowing through the y phase is a iy current current flowing through the b phase is a ib current so phase current is ir is equal to iy is equal to ib and line current is also ir is equal to iy is equal to ib that means in a star system line current is equal to phase current but line voltage is not equal to phase voltage if you see logically line voltage is across to the two phase and phase voltage is across to the single winding so which one is greater obviously line voltage is greater than the phase voltage so its magnitude is not same line voltage and phase voltage that we have to find out using the phasor diagram now moving toward the delta system delta system is also formed by using the three single branch three single branch connected one after another it form a close loop that is the delta system that is the delta system again the same terms for delta system also line voltage line current phase voltage phase current the definition we have to follow the definition so it is then it is easy to understand line current current flowing through the supply line which one is the supply line r y b so line current is ir iy and ib if you observe 
in both system line current is same means it is ir iy and ib that is the line current then the line voltage line voltage voltage between any two supply line that is the line voltage the voltage between r and y we are mentioning the vr y voltage between y and b that is vyb and voltage between b and r that is vbr so line voltage is equal to vr y vyb and vbr again in both system line voltage same vr y vyb and vbr now moving toward the phase phase current and phase voltage phase current means the current flowing through the single branch the in a delta system phase current moving to the single branch is ir y that is in first phase current moving from r toward the y so it is ir y similarly iyb and ibr so in delta system phase current is ir y iyb and ibr now the phase voltage voltage across the single winding or single branch is a phase voltage so but the winding or branch connected in between r and y y and b and b and r so we are getting the phase voltage vr y vyb and vbr so we can say in a delta system line voltage is equal to phase voltage but line current is not equal to phase current so in delta system we have to find out the relation for current and in star system we have to find out the relation for voltage and that relation that we can found with the help of phasor diagram with the help of the phasor diagram that phasor diagram we are going to draw in the next lecture